So in the first video, we learned how to draw a spline using the Draw Spline tool in the modeling mode. But there's one issue, as you notice, that there is no, no collision. We just seem to be going straight through, straight through the spline, rather than following any collision. So the fix for this is relatively simple. If you sort of look on collision, you can see that there is no collision on any of these meshes. So if you go to each of the meshes that you've used in your spline, so I've just opened them up here, go to collision, and you can just add a simple box collision. If you come across here to the details, come down to collision, you can probably leave everything here, block all project default, which is how it is when you first open it, or make changes there. So save, do that for each one. And the train tracks, add box collision. So leave everything here as it's, as it's default. Save all of that. And now if we we sort of play from here. Still won't work because there's one extra thing we need to add is that in the actual spline itself, drag off from the spline mesh component, do it set collision enabled, and set it to query. Collision enabled query and physics in our case. Save that. We play from here. Two things you'll notice. One, we do have collision and it works up here fine. But when we're on the ground, our feet are still going through, going through the rail tracks, even though we can see that there is collision collision boxes here. The reason for that is if you're using the third person character and if you go and open the the animation blueprint the parent of this is actually ABP Manny so if you open that the issue is with the control rig so if you turn disconnect the control rig now compile and now play you should get collision across your entire entire spline. So you're no longer going through the ground. And that's how you add collision to the spline. 